the scene of the parliament building at noon, its gate breached by a car bomb and gunmen advanced shooting their way in. The blast was just the start of this attack. At least five gunmen streamed through here. You see, they've attacked us again. You can hear the gunshots. Fighting is still ongoing. I assure you that we'll overrun them. What you hear are the last few gunshots. As it got worse, reinforcement arrived. Still though, it wasn't easy to contain the situation. At least 10 people have been killed. Three members of parliament are among those injured. All of the attackers had been carrying machine guns. Most of them might have been wearing suicide bomb vests. From where I stand, only a few meters from the house, we can still hear gunshots, meaning some of the attackers are still engaging security officers two hours on. Al Shabaab has claimed responsibility for the attack almost immediately. The Al Qaeda linked group has carried out a spate of suicide bombings and raids in recent months. Even on the presidential palace, Prime Minister Abdiweli Ahmed called for swift response. I order the security forces, the police, the national army and the intelligence to move now. Go and stop these people. It will take time, but we cannot and will not withstand this. They've attacked us again and again. Go and fight them. Attack them. This shouldn't go on. The parliament building is one of the heavily guarded premises. The soldiers from the Somali army and the African Union force army some constantly offer security. This attack is the most brazen in recent months. Mohammed Hirmogi, CCTV, Mogadishu.